Iowa. It's the center of the political universe, thanks to its first in the nation caucuses that kick off presidential preference voting. In addition to being a swing state in the middle of the country with a lot of charms, it's also a place where the democratic process can be swayed by a cookie. We're here in the State Historical Museum of Iowa. They hosted one of the largest caucuses in 2016. This was a madhouse it in really, 2016. It really was. This is Michael Moraine. He's the communications manager for the Iowa Department of Cultural Affairs. He was at the museum for the caucuses in 2016 and witnessed all its kooky, or is it cookie, charms. Everybody has a story, a memory of some caucus that went a little awry or or cookie bribing or, or whatever. Now, now this cookie bribing that you just got, mm -hmm. that happened here. Ah, the infamous 2016 cookie bribe. During the caucus, a supporter of Senator Bernie Sanders convinced a former supporter of Martin O'Malley to come join the Bernie camp with a cookie. It's a very neighborly process, um, even, when, even when there are political disagreements. So when push comes to shove and somebody's a little on the fence, you know, maybe a chocolate chip cookie might, might sway him a little bit. So how is it that a cookie could sway the democratic process? Well, let's take a look at how the caucuses work. Each county in Iowa is divided into a handful of precincts, each with some community center, any place with a big room where lots of people can gather. In that room, there are designated locations for each of the candidates. Caucus goers then show their support for their candidate by standing in that area, and they can try to persuade undecided folks to come join their candidate. Caucus leaders count how many people are supporting each candidate. A candidate is considered viable if they have at least 15% of the room supporting them. Then, the realignment process begins. This is where supporters for the non-viable candidates are given a chance to combine forces or join up with a different candidate. And this is where the cookie came in. The Bernie people, they lured some O'Malley <laughs> people with some chocolate chip cookies. I, it, was in, yeah. it was here at the museum. Right? The, I didn't see it with my own eyes, but I don't doubt it. So once all the persuading has been done, the number of people supporting each candidate is the number of delegates that are awarded to those candidates for that particular precinct. There's some folksy stories, and f especially for out-of-staters, it's appalling um, that this is how we choose the leader of the free world, right? But if you, if you multiply that across the state, if you sort of average it all out, you really do get a sense for the candidates that can build consensus. 